let's clarify, Ethan. The disc has been missing for nearly 20 hours, and you choose now to tell me. Yes, Chancellor. It's not good enough, Ethan. It's not good enough. I want to hear that you can find the disc. I will, sir. As soon as it's been accessed, we'll know its location. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Can it be read? No. The date is encrypted. I don't need to tell you how important or damaging the information on that disc is to me. And to you. Keep me informed. Yes, sir. And Ethan, no loose ends. Each night walking in this city seems worse than the last. How does it come to this where people are scared to walk the streets at night? The corruption and the greed that runs this place has broken everyone that lives here. And does anyone care? It doesn't seem so. Dear Jay, I hope you were serious when you said you wanted to change things. This disc is your chance. I had to bring it to you because I believe you know what to do, Harvey. This has to be trouble. Whoever owns this must know it's missing. If I access this disc, the authorities are going to come knocking. But if they do, I'll be ready for them. two minutes ago. Give me the address. 18A, West Acre Road. The mark is Jason Green, ten minutes from your current location. West Acre Road. I'll be there in five. Send a clean-up crew after me, okay? Okay. The disc is encrypted, so it has to be important. How important depends on how long it takes them to find me. Very important. Jason Green! I know you got our disc, son. Come on, you're not in any trouble. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Just give me the disc. That's all I want. I don't want to hurt you. Then why bring the gun? Besides, you're not in any position to ask for anything, are you? I know you. You're one of the Chancellor's goons, aren't you? You don't know who you're messing with. Just give me the disc. You're right. I don't know who I'm dealing with. But I will find out. Without your help, so be it. on that disc and I know just the person to help me a very good friend of mine called Cloakman aka Gerald Bottomley he's no friend of the establishment that's for sure and he doesn't ride on the security network so accessing the disc should be safe It's probably some old file system or something. It's gonna have encryptions, passwords. It could take me ages to get into this. Well, try your best, Gerald. Look, do you want some help with this or not? You know I my mother calls me Gerald. I'm sorry. Here's the disc. Do what you can. Yeah, okay, just for you, just trying to touch the thing back there. You got a habit for breaking things. So one of the Chester's guys tried to kill you over this thing. Are you sure you wanna get into this? You know, I wouldn't want any gunter maniac knocking on my door over this thing. Well, I guess it's too late now, my friend. Besides, things are going to change. I need all the leverage I can get. Now, assuming this does have something to do with the Chancellor. 
Hey, don't touch anything! Do you really need all this stuff? Hey, I don't ask you why you've got a dead bloke in your flat or a discontented Chancellor's dodgy dealings, do I? So it is leverage. Oh, this is more than leverage. This is go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect £200. And so what are you gonna do? Walk straight in his office. And let him know what I know. You could have a slight problem there. He might not like that. Well, first, I need you to make a slight alteration to that disc. Leave the papers on the table, Frank. I'll read them in the morning. I think you're going to want to see this now, Chancellor Bates. I know you, don't I? Yes, you're the idealist from the City Forum last spring. What can I do for you? I want to talk about this. Well, let's talk then, shall we? I'd have to say, it's not a very good idea. Keeping things on record for me to see. So, you've seen what's on it? I'll come quietly then, shall I? You can try and bluff your way out of this if you like. But it speaks for itself. Extortion. Murder. Fraud. So, what do you want? For you to leave the city tonight and never return. And? Nothing. Could do that. Could? How do I know you haven't got a copy of the disc? No, you have my word. In that case... I'll resign tonight, and I'll leave tomorrow. No, you leave tonight. OK, I'll leave tonight. Thanks, Mr... Green. There's a slight problem, Mr Green. I can't really accept your word that there isn't a copy. I'm not a man of my word, I have to assume. You're not a man of yours. I thought you'd say that, Chancellor.